Hey guys, last video we talked about adding integers and in this video we are going to talk about subtracting integers. So let's dive right in. So with subtracting integers, luckily for us, all the rules are exactly the same as adding integers. If the signs are the same, then we add and keep the sign. If the signs are different, then we subtract and keep the sign of the bigger one. Again, 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 these rules only apply when we're talking about addition and subtraction, not multiplication and division. Those are different rules for multiplication and division. It doesn't matter which one is bigger. Hey, let's dive in with a example or two, and then we're going to kind of learn a new rule or, or something, right? So here's some examples. Example number one. Let's do six minus 15. Now this one here, you know, so my, my question to my students, you folks, would be, are the signs the same or different? Now, I have had some some students, many students actually, who have been tempted on a problem like this to say that the signs are the same, right? They are not the same. And here's what's important to understand is that when we have subtraction, that is the same thing as adding a negative, right? And so that is very important to understand. So if we've got 6 minus 15, that 6 is positive and the 15 is negative, right? So the signs are, in fact, different. So we're going to subtract and keep the sign of the bigger one. So 15 minus 6 is 9. The bigger one is the 15, so we're going to make it negative 9 as the answer. Sound good? Let's do example 2. We're a little bit crazy fine. There we go. Oop. There we go. Not that it matters. It's probably only bugging me. Y'all are probably like, what the heck are you talking about, man? No big deal. Example 2. Let's do negative 7 minus 8. So are the signs the same or different? Well, remember this minus, this subtraction in the middle is the same as adding a negative. So the signs here are the same. So we're going to add and keep the sign. So 7 plus 8 is 15. The answer is going to be negative 15 because we're keeping the sign. All right, let's learn a new trick. A new thing. So we're just we're going to learn it through an example because a lot of times that's the easiest way to go about it. So example three, right? So let's do nine minus negative two. All right, so we've got minus minus. Whenever we see a minus minus, I want you to say out loud or out loud in your brain if you're taking a test or something, I want you to say, Ka-chink, ka-chink. Everybody say it right now. I didn't hear you. Everybody say ka-chink, ka-chink. And then when you say ka-chink, ka-chink, we're going to ka-chink, ka-chink. <gasps> Whoa. Did you say it? Comment down below if you said it. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> so when we see two minuses right next to each other, we ka-chink, ka-chink, which turns those minuses into plus. So now we've got nine plus two. So the signs are the same. So we're going to add and keep the sign. So it's 11. And since we're keeping the sign, it is positive 11. Let's do one more like that. And let's see. That may, that may be it. Uh, actually, we're going to do one more uh, kind of substitution-y problem. So we're going to do two more examples. And then this video is going to be through. So number four is going to be three minus negative five. Why'd they do that? Why didn't they make, let's make it, let's change this up. Cause I don't like that. Not a good idea. We're going to say minus or negative three minus negative five. We've got negatives right next to each other. What do you say? Ka-chink, ka-chink. That's right. You're so brilliant. So we're going to ka-chink, ka-chink those two minuses. Blapo. Right, so now we've got negative three plus five. The signs are different. So we're gonna subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. I 
feel like I've got some sort of something getting me. I don't know what's happening here. Sorry about that. All right, so the sides are different. We're going to subtract, give the sign of the bigger one. So it is two. The bigger one is five. And so we're going to circle that and move on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's do uno mas example. I need to learn how to say example in Spanish. I should, I should look that up. I say uno mas example all the time, but I don't know how to say example. I very much doubt it's example. Oh, that doesn't sound right at all. Example five. It's all right. I think I think what the truth is is I saw a spider crawling on my thing earlier and killed it, and so now my body thinks there's spiders everywhere. I think that's what's happening. I hope there aren't spiders all over me, but so I don't know. Something weird. Something weird is happening. You know, sometimes when you see a bug. You feel like there's bugs everywhere. I think that's what's going on with me. Sorry. I promise, sort of, at least, kind of, that I'm not going insane. So the instructions here are evaluate. I'm used to writing that different. Evaluate. A minus B minus C if. A equals 4, B equals 3, and C equals negative 10. So how do we do these, right? Excuse me. <coughs> we take them and we put parentheses everywhere where there's a variable. So we're going to do variable variable. We're going to do parentheses minus parentheses minus parentheses. And then we're going to substitute what goes what goes where, right? This one was A, so we're going to put a 4 right there. This one was B, so we're going to put a 3 right there. This one was C, so we're going to put a negative 10. <gasps> Look at that. What do we say what do we say to that? We kachink kachink blapo. Okay, now that that's taken care of, let's do the first one. So 4 minus 3. Are the signs the same or different? They're different, right? Y'all are so brilliant. I, I, love, I love teaching you humans. You're amazing. So quiet, too. Respectful, wonderful human beings. 4 minus 3 is 1. And then we bring down plus 10. 1 plus 10 is 11. That's it for that, y'all. If you're one of my students... Do your homework. I'll see you in class. You're amazing. If you are not one of my students and are just joining us here on YouTube, if you haven't noticed yet, this entire pre-algebra course is available for free here on YouTube. Because of that, it would be really helpful to us if you would click that subscribe button and you would hit the like. That helps us out. helps us be able to offer this to you guys for free and all of those things. If you want to see anything else that we're up to and doing, you can check that out at emberlearninglabs.com. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. We've got some camps and we've, we're eventually going to have some different products and different things, maybe even merch. We might become real YouTubers. Who knows? Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.